What is up guys, I'm Buren here today and today we're gonna have a different type of deck. We're gonna have a Dust Clubs deck that is, well, annoying to your opponents and also a quite fun to play for you and it will make you laugh. So Dust Clubs, right? Disable. You choose one of your opponent's attack and they can't use it. Well, a lot of mods right now, they do have only one attack besides their GX, so this is a great, great, great card to annoy someone. But before I'm going to talk in, in more about the deck, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, you know, right down there, below, you can click the subscribe button, and, you know, don't forget to support, support the channel, because thanks to you is this channel, so I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for making it what it is. So, disable, right? We have a fantastic attack over here, but... With what we can, you know, add this, right? And we have a Mistar. We got a Fossil Bind, so not only you are preventing your opponent to from attacking, but also prevent them from playing an item card, which is really, really nice and definitely annoying. So let's take a look at the whole deck. We do have a line of 2-2, two, two, uh, Omastar and Omanite. And why I went with Omastar and Omanite? Well, as I said, we're locking down the items. And we have a nice 4-4 four, four line of Duskull and Dusclops and two finishers which are Trivenant and Dusk Noir. Of course, you know, you might say, oh, but Raven, this is, yeah, this is a bad idea. Actually, so yesterday on stream, uh, we've won many games with that deck. It does need a specific setup, that is true, and he needs some specific circumstances, but once you can hit everything, it just works. It just works, 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 and you win games. So now let's go to trainer cards. There are 36 trainer cards with four custom catchers for the draws because we will be discarding a lot with Duskull. Two Lana's Fishing Rod, two Lily's Pocky Doll to stall the game a little bit. Three Pocky Gears 3.0, three Pokemon Communications, two Switches, three Pokemon Research Labs to get those Ammonites, which are really important. One Shrine of Punishment, two Viridian Forests, two Cynthia's, four Greens Explorations. That is when you're gonna have Dust Clothes, but not yet Omastar to get what you need. We got one Guzman Hala, one Rosa, two Titan Lizas for the Switch, four Spell Tags, and ten Energy. So deck is really, really simple. But let me tell you, this is just an evil deck, and it's super annoying. And if you can actually pull this off, I can guarantee you having a lot of fun. Well, you, not your opponent, but you, right? So definitely, definitely a great, great, great deck for that. You can see right now, you know, we are, well, do you want to go first or you want to go second, right? That's the question that everyone asks. You want to go fast with this deck, right? You do want to go fast. Uh, good coffee. And why you want to go first? Because you want to evolve first, right? But also, if you're going to go second, it's not bad because you will be able to evolve your turn one and you start using Disable. So it all depends on, you know, your personal preferences. We're going to try to do it both over here. And I have, like, one thing that I have to say. Uh, there are a few, you know, a few videos from the League Challenge that were corrupted. And unfortunately, I can't really do the commentary for them, which is a little bit of a bummer, but I will try to do my best, right? I will try to do my best. I do promise. So let's take a look what we have right now. We do have a dust call, and I'm going to evolve it right away. Also, I do have an Omanite, uh, so you know what? Huh, should I change the strategy over here? I mean, I can discard it. All right, you know what? Yeah, we're going to go tripping on dust uh, and... Dusk Noir. I'm gonna go with Spirit Born to add energy. There we go. So already into a disable. And I'm ready to go. You know, passing the turn and let's go. So I know Drach is all about executing the ability, right? So not really an attack. That's why I've put my energy over here on Triven and Dusk Noir. Because again, Pale Moon GX, when you have three energies, it is devastating to get rid of your opponent's energy, right? It's really devastating, especially against a fighting type. Like, once you get rid of that energy, it's gone, and then you're not bringing it back. Four electric type decks, you know, this is a pre Picaram deck that we're facing. This also may be devastating uh, if they are cocky enough to have a lot of it on one Pokemon. And I'm talking about, of course, Picaram itself. We got a Tree Tree as well. So Dust Clubs with Disable and we missed. I mean, I'm kind of sad by the, by the fact that we missed a card like 
uh, fossil research but you know it does happen sometimes and there's just nothing uh, nothing I can do about it unfortunately I would love to but there's just really nothing I can do about anything and yeah I'm just trying but you know the archive is uh, not responding so unfortunately we will not have one game the Kavex game from the league challenge unfortunately well it happens sometimes right it does happen what can you do so tackle Simka and Caitlyn and let's take a look over here you know Guzman Hala is gonna be brought back ooh a big hand like he's going for a really big hand and note that Danny right there now it goes choo choo normally like you do want to have like you know um, Zara Aura already the Danny right but he doesn't have that and he just passes the turn which is great because you know this gives me some time and at the same time there's just no point of doing disable because it's resistant of minus 20 I can just go and start preparing my own my own side of the board just, you know, slowly waiting because, well, let's be honest here. He's going to knock out Dust Clubs at a certain point, And he is going to be cocky about the energy. I mean, I know he will. So I do think he's going to go for, you know, actual 6 energy on a peak rum. I do think so. And he has no idea that I do have the Rosa. Or he might actually go Thunder Mountain right now. And, yeah, Thunder Mountain... He might try to find a skateboard just to retreat, maybe a switch to retreat, but that's later, you know, because you can't have that from Guzman Hala, you have special energy. Tool, I mean, yeah, you have a tool. So he goes for a choice helmet, though. Alright, choice helmet, a unit energy, that's new. I didn't thought, you know, he's going to have uh, that. I mean, if he's going to use unit energy for attack of Jirachi, I'm going to laugh, but... We've seen a lot of things, you know, uh, in the past few years as we do play that game. So, yeah, there's just nothing that will surprise me at the end of the day. So let's take a look. A skateboard, Picaram, Knockout. And I'm curious where he's going to put that energy. And that's a unit that goes right there on the Picaram as well. So let's take a look. Where he's going to put the energy after a full blitz. I mean, please put it on, a, on an active. Just go for it, you know, I know you want to. Uh, okay, he was smart, right, so he was smart, he actually went for... Uh, 4 for 4 the choo-choo, which is not a bad idea, actually, you know, that's quite, quite smart of him. So we're gonna have Rosa. Um, okay. Let me think, because... It's all fun and cool, but I do think you know, I need something like Custom Catcher right now, just to draw. And then again, you know, I can just go for the Dust Call if I want to, or I can... Yeah, because there's no point of me actually going for the Research Lab, because that costs a turn. And I can't really afford that. Like, I can't afford, you know, uh, this one turn cost. So let's take a look at what we can draw out of Custom Catcher. Literally nothing, so... Pale Moon GX. No energy. So he has to go for the switch, right? So he has to do that. He knows uh, if he's gonna keep Picaram, it's gonna get... Knocked out. It's gonna get, you know... Uh, okay, switch, right. So switch, retreat, and, and a choo-choo. Ooh, boy. This is not looking good for, on my side, really. I, I feel like, you know, this week is just terrible for Dex. I don't see things, so, I mean, ah, oh. I got this feeling that this week is just terrible for some Dex. Just for some Dex. That is a feeling. Oh, right, so... Attack switch, and he's going for maybe a GX, right? He might actually have three Electro Powers that he's going to play. And, well, you know, if we had this, you know, stadium, I wish we had, that would, you know, change some things, but it didn't, it didn't. And he knows where this is going, and I do also know where this is going. This is closer and closer to the knockout. Even with something like Disable.
But you know what? At least I can search for a stadium card. So I'm gonna get rid of Thunder Mountain. And a Night Watch. It's 150 damage. Shuffling back Cynthia and Peak Rum. I'm not gonna give it up. I'm not gonna let you guys down. Come on, down until the very end. I'll try to, but it's a little bit too late. I mean, maybe if we got that, you know, research lab turn one, that would be the perfect, perfect card to play. That would be a perfect choice, you know, the perfect combination of many things. Malo and Lana, 120 damage healed, just like that. And then just bring back the peak rum. Wow, 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 what a move. What a move right there. Yep, that's a knockout. Let's go play just game number two. I mean, I'm, I'm, let's not waste time. Let's play that game number two so we can showcase the deck, you know, in its full force because the deck is really fun. It's just like, ah, oh, you see, like, you need the setup. If you can get that setup, you're good. But if you will not have this research lab turn one, that's why we do play those, you know, Green's Explorations. That's why we play those poke gears because you need that that setup turn one because if you can have it you're good to go if you don't well that's really bad that's why i do like to go first because you know you can't really attack and you want to actually use that turn one for the pokemon uh like research lab right you see there it is like green's exploration but no basic rng all right okay you know what let this be a bad RNG today uh, for TCJ, but a good for the VGC because we are so close to the Master Rank and the Master Rank series for the VGC is right on the YouTube channel so you can actually, if you're into VGC or so Pokemon Competitive Sword and Shield, you can check, check this one out because we are every single month getting to the Master Rank and trying to get to the top and oh well, 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 we do have, okay, we do have a research lab though. So this is not that bad, we do have research labs. So I, do have some options. I can work with some things. A spell tag. Uh, definitely no Trevenant is not a great, great, great first card to have. But you do what you gotta do sometimes, right? You do what you gotta do. Let's take an Omanite and pass the turn. So I think at this point he kind of knows what is gonna happen, so I don't think he's gonna risk for more months. But if, well, that's good for me. So Mr. Treasure goes down. A lot just for the attack purge. Of course for the attack purge, like for what else, Raven? Of course, Pale with GX kind of avoids attack purge. Oh, no energy. Oh, and I have Omanite. Oh, yes, this is. Oh, this is Christmas, baby. Let's go. So Guzman Hala on the spell tag. And then Dust Clops. Just so I'm gonna keep custom catchers for the draws. Shrine of Punishment. Uh, actually, no, I need Virgin Forest. You see, like, I can't really give him Virgin Forest, though. Or can I? Huh. I mean, I do need energy. So, yeah, you know what? Go, let's go Virgin Forest. So, over in the forest, custom catcher. Uh, let's draw. Of course, we're drawing. Alright, I have a Cynthia. Great. So, that's going to be an energy. Let's take a look. I still have two more Dust Clubs, so that's, that's good. And I can still play that custom catcher. Alright, let's fishing rod, right? Let's bring back. Spell like and a Dust Clops to the deck, and I can just pass a turn. So right now he knows he can't really play uh, more mods. Like, I do want him to play more mods, like I beg for that, because that would be great. Down goes Cherish Ball, probably for the Dene, and if the person's gonna drop the Dene, or Jirachi, right? Just to not apply the weakness. And now we start. Now we start, so now we have Rhythm Forest. 
But no more trainer card, no more item cards. But there goes Welder, we might see a, uh, we might see a damage coming. We might actually see some tag purging. But attack purge, you know, does not affect. Oh, clear vision GX. Alright, uh, wait. So for the rest of the game, your opponent can't use GX. Oh, that was a great move. That was brilliant. Let me tell you, that was brilliant move. But I'm not gonna let you use that anymore. It's like, enough is enough, mate. Enough is enough. And, well... Pass the turn. And now we're gonna see some tag purging. Yep. Alright, Pokemon communication. I mean, I kind of know this will allow him to use... To use, 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 use. <sighs> Trainer cards, but you know, I, I just have to do something, right? Like, there's just no other way. So that then lies out, not for a switch. Okay, that's a switch. Spiritborn Evolution, and I'm just curious you know, if I can actually get rid of Attack Purge, to be honest with you, with the Dust Clops. Because I feel like I should. Okay, so I can't. Right, so I can't get rid of, you know, uh, Dust Clops. Uh, of Dust Clops, off, off, off. The attack purge, such an annoying attack, such an annoying card. I do hate when you know when the decks are working on stream and they're not working uh, here when I'm recording it. I should just you know I should have just taken this you know the footage from the stream like ah fine. <laughs> joking, of course I'm joking. Don't worry about it. Great catcher. That's all she wrote. Alright guys, so that is the deck. Um, to be quite honest with you, on stream it, it was playing better. I'm not gonna lie to you, it, stream, it was playing better. The RNG, right? So if you can get this setup right, if you have the good matchup right here, you will be good with this deck. But, all in all, I would say it's a nice 5 out of 10. If you can lock your opponent super fast, especially, you know, if you're facing, like, Baby Blaze Falon, you know, uh, control decks, you will be good. But if you're playing against those, you know, tier 1 decks, that, there, there, there's a problem there, because they use a lot of those attacks. So, I would say thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that. Also, don't forget that down there below is a whole deck list, 5% discount on any code with purchase on Professor Oak and the code to a tcgplayer.com where you can get all those cards uh, IRL. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye. Mwah. And good night. Raven loves you. Tomorrow, Stefan Sivanov deck. So, Bear with me. Goodbye and good night. Love ya.